All right, so Tommy just got here with my brand new vehicle. I am so excited to show it to you guys. It's actually been getting a full PPF for the last week. This is a complicated car to PPF, and we have awesome partners over at Flexi Shield that took care of us. We've done their Flexi Shield on the G-Wagon, the 918, and now this vehicle that, again, I am so pumped to show you. You looks, got to see it already. Dude, it looks awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm let's stoked. Let's unload it. Yeah, let's do it. So I've actually never seen this before. I bought this totally sight unseen like I bought every other one of my cars. I just knew that I'd like it. This is my first time I'm actually gonna see it, drive it, experience it. It's pretty uh -huh. sick. So yeah, there's less than 100 of these built worldwide, probably 30 in the USA. I'm just pumped. Let's you open ready? this up. Let's run it. Yes. Beauty. Oh, good. That's so sexy. We should get it out. No. I, get it out I was thinking it. we could just keep it in there. Oh, no. <laughs> this is my first time getting in it, and I'm, I'm going to have a claustrophobic attack trying to fit <laughs> into this because we can't open the doors that swing out. And I can't wait to see what it looks uh, This is the only car that you can push button, expand everything like the Bugatti, but it's all automatic, right? Yeah. Coming soon. It's sick. Oh, God. How? I don't think I went about this the right way. I got a fart. Oh, God. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Dude, this is the first time I farted in a car before I even got in it all the way. I like how that's like, a, like he's proud of that. He's like, this is a first for me. You're doing great, buddy. <laughs> Fuck, I can't do it. I can't, my chest is too fat. It just gets stuck. Put your legs in the passenger seat. No. That'll right. be easier. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. And I can hold your back too if you want to oh lean back. Oh my gosh. You're fine. If I get like, you're not, fine. if I'm not able to move when I'm in there. You're fine. You're going to be able to move. It's like Ace Ventura Pet Detective when he's climbing out of the rhino's ass. <laughs> See, you're in there. He's in the passenger seat now. <laughs> you did it. Oh my god, a breath. So it That's plugs awesome. in, it's like magnetized. I it see. It goes right there. Tommy, you're a magnet. Thanks. A dude magnet. One of the cool features about this car is it has this mode called Sneaky V, so it'll move in like, I think it goes up to six miles an hour. So it's perfect for like moving on the garage or pulling it out of a trailer, and it doesn't start the, uh, the internal combustion engine at all, which is kind of neat. Or. You can just start it all the way too, that's fine. I get to see the door open. Here, pull it, pull it in the sun right here. Okay, that whole thing. Oh, what? There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty good. I love the exhaust pipes too. They're so, you, I've never seen a car with these exhaust pipes before. These uh, like long, almost arrow looking. Dude, those are so cool. All right, so I got to see it expand out. That's what she said. Do it. That's pretty amazing, dude. It looks All like a transformer. This, this is so cool, the coordinates crazy. of their... First uh, vehicle with carbon fiber wheels that I own, Factory. yeah? Yeah, three spoke too. Do you like the wheels on these? No, nah, I think they're gonna have to go. <laughs> <laughs> the finish, like this silver looks incredible. Yeah, it does. I love all of the carbon that it has. Obviously it has a full carbon monocoque, like everything, every other hypercar built. God, the tires on this thing are crazy. So the, the KNC, I believe it's called KNC, Kona Naked Carbon. Yeah, so you can see it right here next to our plate frames. But they like literally polish it. There's no like lacquer. Yeah. It's just yeah. polished carbon versus standard carbon with like a gloss lacquer on it. But this looks so and they still want to put that all over your Yesco. I remember we were at the factory, they had their shield. I think I made a comment that they had their shield literally everywhere. Yeah. And I see it like 12 different times. It's it's on the struts, it's on the caps for whatever those reservoirs it's are. On the, for. Yeah, those air intake right cover. Here. There's the brake side. lights. This. We're gonna do a Hamilton collection first. I really want to go just drive the hell out of this thing, understand the way that it works, functions, so I can give you guys a really educated synopsis of how the vehicle is. So we're gonna flash forward just a few weeks from now after I'm able to drive this a whole bunch. See you then. Two weeks later. So I have driven this thing for about two weeks now. I think I put 300 miles on the vehicle, and this is right now. It's my favorite vehicle. I can't wait to show you guys this thing. It is incredible. It sounds like a Bugatti on steroids with an exhaust system. So we're just gonna go drive. 
in a busy area. And you're gonna see how many people look at these things and their jaw just drops. Additionally, this is a car that we have available for rent. Many of you may not know, but we actually do offer all of our cars for rent. And the biggest part of that reason is so that people can get access to vehicles that they otherwise couldn't get access to. You cannot go somewhere and rent a Koenigsegg anywhere. You can go to the hamiltoncollection.com and check out all the vehicles we have available for rent. We try to be as price conscientious as we can with those. And we're gonna drive this in just a second, but I did wanna mention that I also have the Jamera and the Koenigsegg Yesco on order. And I will tell you what, I couldn't wait for those to come in. I had to get one sooner. If you couldn't tell by the sweatshirt that I'm wearing, I am a huge Koenigsegg fan. They hooked this up at the factory for me. So thanks again, all the team at Koenigsegg for that. But I need to go drive this right now. It's, it's been like, I don't know, 24 hours since I've driven it last. I have to drive it again. Now, as I get in here, I actually was pulling this out. I had thought it was a flashlight up until a minute ago. And then I realized that it is an umbrella. Oh, it's tiny. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like that long. That's what she said. Uh, join the club, join the club. So let's put that back in there. But the funny thing about that is that it reminds you of the Rolls Royce, and this is actually the Regera is Koenigsegg's luxury variant on a car. It was their first, right, vehicle yeah. that was actually supposed to be the, the part of the luxury collection. Yeah, it's one of their, like, GT, well, I guess the only GT car they've made so far. I guess the Jamera might be considered a luxury car, but, yeah, they so. were really focused on top speed cars and experience. Obviously, this car is plenty fast, and yeah. the driving experience is amazing. I have to put it into this little location here. It's not in my hand. It says, put the key in the key holder to be able to drive. Well, it's in the key holder. It's not working. So, oh God, I just dropped it. <laughs> I've noticed you have to kind of jiggle it and that is what she said. There it goes. I have it in at an angle. That's also what she said. And now the message went away. So, oh, no, nope, it went back on. We'll get it, we'll get it. Come on, baby, jiggle it. Oh, there it goes. Gotta do it quick. I know all about that. There we go. All right, we got it going. I'm also slightly concerned about potentially getting stuck in here because there's a button that opens the doors. This handle seems still also electrical, like I don't think it's a manual device, but fortunately there's this emergency hammer right here though, if anything gets stuck so I can just smash the windows out. That would be a cheap repair. Surprising fact, I've said it before, but that the Jamera was the very first hypercar I ever ordered. Ordered that five years ago. I'm still extremely optimistic about getting that vehicle this decade. Yeah, we'll have that one soon in the collection. I think everything that I order from here on out is pretty much gonna be a convertible. It had the top off when it was nice out. It's pretty nice out today, we may take it off, but so cool with the top off. It actually stores this whole huge one-piece top in the front of the hood, and, and it just kind of jiggles. It doesn't even lock in. I, I was messaging the guy at Koenigsegg. I'm like, does it clip or lock in? He's like, no, you just kind of place it in the front of the hood, and it just kind of sits there. This silver in the sun is so beautiful. The Flexi Shield team have just awesome product that overlaid this car, keeps it protected. So I want to give another shout out to those homies over there. We're going to keep using their product because it's just fantastic stuff. Uh, let's do a pull. Oh my gosh. Just insanity. We've pit this thing up against the Nevera. We've had it up against the 918 and this thing keeps right up with most of the hypers and it's actually even keeps up with the Nevera which broke 26 world records for speed. We actually have the Nevera as our roller car right now to keep up with this thing so we can film some awesome rollers. It is a beast and as we're accelerating there you can see it doesn't really shift. It has like a single speed basically transmission that Koenigs I worked out somehow some way. I don't understand how it works but but it works. Driving Houston Crosta's Aguera, which is now Stradman's. Is this where I fall in love with the Koenigsegg and have to buy one? This thing feels so raw. I don't even know how to explain it and I've barely gone 10 miles an hour. I thought that that car was a little bit too raw, too aggressive. It felt, it felt like the unrefined version of this, which to some people is great. And I probably, if I got the right deal on an Aguera, I'd probably still go and buy one, but but this just feels like the, the polished version of that. And the Yesco is supposed to be an even further polish. And I don't necessarily mean polish like smoother, quieter. I just mean like they're just getting better and better at building cars. It would be nice if the air conditioner worked. <laughs> if I had a touch screen, we have to keep rolling down the windows. It's just hot out and I'm wearing a sweatshirt and doing nothing about it. All right. That chirping was just at losing traction because it's so fast. I mean, you can hear this thing. It sounds like a better version of the Bugatti. This thing handles incredibly. This may be the best handling car in the entire collection. As you guys can probably guess, we pay a lot of money in gas, and that's why we have teamed up with Upside today to be the sponsor of our video. Now, the free Upside app gets you cash back on daily essentials like gas, groceries, and dining, and there are over 100,000 gas stations, grocery stores, and restaurants on the Upside app ensuring that cash back is always just around the corner. Pulling up my app right now, and I'm gonna get 38 cents cash back on premium gas per gallon. Wow, 
That's a freaking deal. Now that is real cash back. No confusing rewards, points, or credits. You can just take that and transfer it directly to your bank account. <laughs> the car is almost as slow as It the reminds car. me of the scene in Batman where the Joker hits the button oh, and it doesn't blow up. <laughs> Fourth time's the charm on that. Okay, so when you fill this thing up with gas, you have to blow up this whole thing to access this little part right here, right there. So we're gonna fill this up. Frequent Upside users earn an average of $340 a year. To find out how much you can earn, click on the link in the description, download Upside, use my promo code Hamilton, and get an extra 25 cents off on every gallon on your first tank of gas. I just spilled gas on my carbon fiber thing. <laughs> you know what, that 38 cents cash back makes it a little less painful, you You're know what I'm saying? Wrong. You are not wrong, sir. After you download the app, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside, and then pay as usual with a credit or debit card. Follow the steps in the app and get paid. All right, let's see if this works. First try. Second. Third. Leave it, it's thinking. Oh, was it thinking yeah. the whole time? I heard it make a noise. Oh, there's just a delay. All right, people can earn three times more cash back with Upside than any other product. This includes loyalty programs and credit card rewards. So what are you waiting for? Go download that app. Top Upside earners are making as much as 300 bucks a month. All right, time to break some necks. We downtown. There you go, that, that's the look it needs. That's the look it deserves, and the second look too. She's filming, she's filming. <laughs> Bro, those are nice. Look at this guy right there. He's got wheels. I, I've, it's been like five. All right, all right. He's like, there we go. Look at Tommy. Broke his neck. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> This right here is the intersection where the McLaren windshield got smashed. Oh my God. We were just here for a tiny bit of time and it's not even a busy time of day and pretty much everybody just turns their heads. It's an incredible, incredible vehicle that just breaks necks. Now let's talk about visibility because you can't see the stoplights. <laughs> when, you're, when you're parked and coming up to a stoplight, for whatever reason, the roof line is like just a little too low. And I'm six foot two, so like I don't have this problem in other cars. But with this one, it just cuts them off. So I gotta like duck down to see the stoplight every single time. It's slightly obnoxious and this feels exactly like a cockpit to an airplane. And how do I know? Because I am a pilot. <laughs> how do you know when someone's a pilot? Because they tell you. It basically feels like the cockpit of a plane and that's kind of neat. And I said the same thing about the Yesco and we got the fortunate opportunity to drive it in Sweden. <laughs> Tommy, there's the, there's the Nevera. Yeah, Tommy looking like a snack. Mm. Hey, your, your, your gas cap's open, bro. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I did the same thing, you can reach it. It's like the only car where you can give it a reach around. Huh? And now for launch control. Build up boost. Oh, not yet, not yet. It's awesome that it uh, basically revs the engine up, you can smell it. It builds up a bunch of boost and it just sends it. And there's a car. And there's a car. In the traffic. <laughs> I got pulled over on this road uh, four days ago. In this it, car? Yeah, they said it was, uh, I was going too fast. Dude, you hear that echo? Oh yeah, this is also where I got pulled over yesterday, so I should chill. We also have to be exceptionally careful about opening the doors because they pop out, as you guys saw when we unloaded it a few weeks ago. 
they come out so if you park within like a foot of a curb there's a great chance your door is going to get smashed up on a curb i think doug demiro or something covered where they have a camera that's supposed to sense it but it doesn't necessarily always work definitely like even though there are some quality issues i'm super pumped to add this thing to the collection it is it is a fantastic car i'm willing to work through the issues that it might have and as you guys know the hamilton collection is all about giving back to the community that's what we do we buy these cars we bring them to shows we let people sit in them my wife and i personally donate everything that we make from this channel directly to charity and then some and uh and we're just happy to, to serve you guys and take care of you guys and we thank you so much for watching too